Hello, and welcome to the November update of Open March. Happy Halloween if you practice. Um, lots of things happened this month. Lots of things. And and specifically, the reason I'm so jazzed about this month is that for the first time in Open March history and like the one year history, um, we have people that have helped us on the project. And that could either be in the development side or like the branding side. So, first, we have a logo now. Um, this is one of the many variants of it that we have. It's a little marcher here. It spells out Open March. It's pretty clear. And if you can look way down there, that's an app icon that we have too. Um, it's basically this guy is going to be like our reduced logo. Thank you so much to Ben Mouse uh, for making this. He, If you want to see his portfolio, it's linked on the uh, update page that I made on this blog post. Um, the, the amount of changes and variations this logo has gone through and the patience that he's had has been absolutely amazing and, he, and he's still like helping with some branding stuff um so, so yeah greatly appreciated greatly appreciated also on the like front end train uh duck or duke uh, i linked to his github here basically redid the entire front end so everything instead of it being like all of these solid colors it looks way more modern um it, it looks way more modern and all, everything has like these standard like pre-built components and it is a much more mature base for us to build off of now and implement as we implement new features so before i talk about anything else i really do want to show you these things let me pause for a second all right i only wanted to pause so i didn't show you anything by accident so i want to show you actually um hold on let me try and delete this app so i want to show me installing open march and then that's how we're going to use it for this update so we do open march dmg we have a new icon there move to applications and then we open and it's also probably going to um hold on it's going to want to open an old file that's not what i want what is this Great. So, whoa, whoopsie. I just like moved my, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I just moved my OBS window. So this is what it looks like um, right now. Uh, so let's just hop into it. We're gonna create new, let's do November update dot dots. And just just look at this like look at how compared to last update how much more like seamless everything is look at this timeline with the counts you can you can't really see it because my face is in the way but you can like zoom in and out of this timeline that looks awesome um canvas is still exactly the same uh but all, all, everything just looks better you can collapse these up and down and now this is a tiny thing the first page is also always created so you don't you're not greeted with this like weird screen um, so let's just go ahead and start. Let's say we want to have, and that happens sometimes. Let's say we want to have like three or five baritone marchers. Oh, that's, whoopsie. Quantity five. Create five baritone marchers. I'm breaking it live. <laughs> I broke it. Let's say we want five baritone marchers there we go that's a bug here we are so same thing we've always done and you can move them around and do all that and now let's say i wanted like four tenor saxes same thing boom great we have our marchers let's say they all want to we all want to create a line with them I want that to be there, I want that to be there. Boom, great, mix up. And now we wanna create a page. Same exact thing we've always done. See these pages pop up here. I can go to page two, move them a little bit. Go to page three, move them a little bit there. Now we're going to page two, and then to page three. And we're golden. Um, I just, I'm just so filled with happiness by how good this UI looks. Um, there's a lot of work to be done on the like user experience side of things 
and on some like you literally just saw me find a bug um th there's a ton of work but like when i look at this like i i look at this as like a place i want to spend my time not as like some you know weird post-grad passion project um so I, I i love this and and i think it's great um the next thing i want to get into uh before i while, while i gush over this um if you noticed when i was creating a marcher and i made a mistake i i undid something that's because if i just keep pressing Control z oh my gosh the marchers are going and they're all gone because i undid all of them i can press Control shift z to redo all of it see the pages at the bottom undoing their creation and all that everything is now everything is now in the history table so you can undo anything you can redo anything like when you would delete pages let's say you deleted page three when you would delete you would basically like get this warning like you're about to delete oh well it says this cannot be undone that's wrong but that I just didn't update it. Um, now, if you delete this page, great. You can just undo it and it comes right back. Um, this is now, as a developer, a lot easier to implement if you add a new thing. Like uh, soon I want to add props. Soon I want to add like shapes or, or other things like that. You can now add that to the history table very easily. Same thing if like I want to start having custom fields, all of that will be there. Um, so that, that, that was basically my whole month of what I did, but uh, a lot of other people, two other people specifically, and, and some other people have been helping me out, um, have been hard at work making this just seem like a more, a more real product. And like, there, there's such, there's cool, like l tiny levels of detail. Like you can't really see on your screen, but like, maybe I can zoom in. Like that's a rounded corner right there. I just think that's so cool. Like everything here is just very modular. Um, and, and like, it looks like it could in the future, like have stuff dragged around. I, that's probably a very difficult thing to do, but, um, it, it looks possible. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. And I know this has been a very scattered update. Um, features undo redo. There's now a def a limit to how many actions are saved. Yep. There's like a maximum of 500 actions. First page now is exists. I'm also going to add something to here really quick. Quality of life. There is now an app icon, exclamation point. Sorry, I was going to forget that. And I think if you're watching this long, you can wait. Databases, history triggers. Yeah, so um, this was a very, I think, good month because there was a lot of stuff that set the road work for future features. This new UI is going to be now the baseline of where we're starting um and with all of the like kind of standard components that, that he put in there this will be so much easier and it'll look so much better um but there's a there's a ton of work that still needs to be done um the low-hanging fruit i have is i want to add curves of some sort i still don't know how i'm going to do that but like i'll figure it out um measures still need to be added manually i think the next thing i want to do is I think my first thing I want to tackle is creating indoor fields because the indoor season's coming up. I'm probably too late for the indoor season, but I'd like to have it anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you ever want to help. Let me know if you have some ideas or things that you think would be a bit smarter for me to focus on. Uh, I, my inbox is always open and there is now you can email contact at openmarch.com. Um, you can do that or dev at openmarch.com. Alex Doom, like I, I made a million emails and they all go to the same place. Um, but yeah, if you're ever interested or want to help out or anything like that, um, I, I feel like I'm seeing this form into a real thing in front of my eyes uh, and it's it's super cool. So, so yeah, uh, I will see you all. And I just forgot, this will be on the Open March YouTube channel now. I need to make a brief video that says, you know, I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in... November or late November or early December. Bye-bye.